Hey, welcome back to some interesting facts. I'm John Paul, and that's a fact. For those of you who are new here, this is a continuation of the first hundred facts. So we'll be starting off on fact 101. Of course, this is YouTube. If you like what you see, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Every little bit helps. And without further ado, let's get to the facts. The original McMansion, Buckingham Palace. Now, Buckingham Palace was not built for royalty. In fact, it was built in 1703 for the Duke of Buckingham, but was acquired by King George III in 1761 and has been Buckingham Palace ever since. With a slight remodel in 1762 under the Queen's orders, it was expanded. It now includes nearly 828,000 square feet of livable area. That's 775 rooms, including 19 estate rooms, 52 royal guest rooms, 92 offices, and 78 bathrooms. And of course, it's for British royalty, so it would not be complete without its own personalized jewelry shop that polishes and mints those crown jewels. Just to put in perspective, the ginormity of Buckingham Palace, the largest house ever constructed in California in 2021, is a modern day palace called The One House. It's literally called The One House in Bel Air. It's 105,000 square feet of a measly mansion. That's only 21 bedrooms with 42 bathrooms. It's basically a dollhouse compared to true royalty in the Buckingham Palace. And although The One House does have a four-lane bowling alley, a 30-foot movie theater, and a 30-car garage, it does not have its own private jeweler. But <laughs> that being the case, Less than five minutes away is the nearest Claire's. Ah, but neither Buckingham Palace or the One House can hold a candle to the largest house ever constructed for one person. East and North Alignment Palace in Brunei, which is the official office residence for the Sultan of Brunei. This palace makes Buckingham Palace look like a studio apartment. This palace has over 2 million square feet of living area. That's nearly 1,800 rooms and 257 bathrooms. And although there is no reported jewelry shop, there is a 200 polo pony stable that houses 200 polo ponies. But Brunei and Buckingham, those are not technically privately owned now. The largest and most expensive privately owned home on record is a 27-story, 567-foot-tall skyscraper in Mumbai, India, called the Antilia Building. Located basically on India's Billionaires Row in Mumbai, this house is technically the most expensive house that was ever built for a single person and their family at nearly $2 billion in total value. There's no public data on the number of rooms it has, but it does have 27 working floors complete with a few pools, a few feeders, and even a snow room, which is a room that produces snow and that's somehow different than a walk-in freezer. The nearly half a billion square foot house was constructed in 2010 and requires a minimal 600 person staff to support the one person and their family. Also note, this house is so large it could easily and comfortably support up to 4,000 cats. And speaking of felines, while it is estimated that about 10% of the population has some sort of allergic reactions to cats, there's a small percentage of cats that have allergic reactions to people. And in pure cat fashion, they have selective allergies. They're not always allergic to all people. Just some people. Probably the people they don't like. Yeah, what's really nuts, if you drive south in Detroit, you'll end up in Canada. Okay, and what sounds nuts, but it's really more fruity, are almonds. Because almonds are really a part of the peach family. And something that is technically fruity is corn, which is technically a fruit. And also, fun fact about corn, up until the 1920s, corn husks were commonly used as a substitute for toilet paper. And speaking of toilet paper, the action of wiping your- <laughs> Sorry, I'm being told we can't do that one. Uh, your spirit animal is about to change because some snails can take naps that last up to three years. And speaking of snails, the world's largest snail is the African giant snail, which can grow up to 15 inches long and weigh up to two pounds. But those snails have nothing on the world's largest worm, which is a bootlace worm. 
it can grow technically up to 180 feet long. And don't worry, that's just an extreme case. Most of these things only get to 33 feet long. And it's not clear if that worm was ever used as bait, but in 1979, the largest fish ever hooked was reportedly caught. It was an Atlantic bluefin tuna that weighed 1,496 pounds. That's nearly 1,500 pounds of a fish at the end of somebody's fishing pole. For comparison's sake, that's almost as large as the 13th largest fish in the sea, the great white shark. Some guy reeled in a fish that was as large as a great white shark. Hey, and speaking of number 13, Triskaidekaphobia, or the fear of the number 13, is a phobia that has no known origin, but it just exists. It exists especially in Western culture today. Almost all buildings in America, there will be no 13th floor. Elevators will just skip that floor option altogether. It'll just jump from floors 12 to 14. And this fact is especially true for buildings that are less than 12 stories tall. And 1,200 years ago in the 9th century, an Ethiopian farmer noticed that some of his goats were acting a little jittery and more productive after eating a special type of bean. 800 years later, in the 17th century, this special bean was cultivated and sold to the Europeans for the first time as coffee. It took an additional 300 years before the first Starbucks was ever constructed. Which, in 1971, Pike's Place Market in Seattle, Washington, the first Starbucks was opened. Seattle liked it so much that they put one on just about every corner of the city. If you run a mile in downtown Seattle, you'll pass at least 20 Starbucks coffee shops. And that's just the statistical average. And for land area, that's the highest concentration of Starbucks coffee shops on the planet. And possibly the reason why people are so sleepless in Seattle. And speaking of coffee, the world's most expensive cup of coffee is the Kopi Luwak, which is made from beans that have been digested from civet cats. If you drink this coffee, it's technically expensive cat dung stew. So really, the joke's on you for drinking poo. And speaking of little turds, the smallest cat in the world is the Singapura. Or the Singapura. <laughs> you see what I did there? Because cause it's a cat. Comedy usually is for funny people. Yeah, never mind. Smallest cat, four pounds on average. It's a cat. If you want a small one, get a Singapore. And four pounds for a cat might not sound too impressive, because it's really not, let's be honest. But what was impressive was the world's largest truffle, which weighed in at about 4.2 pounds. This was also the most expensive truffle ever sold in 2014, which sold for about $61,000. Oddly, four years later in 2018, a two pound white truffle sold to the same buyer for nearly $120,000. And then, in 2019, the same guy bought another two-pound truffle for nearly $160,000. Man, the following year was 2020. So, yeah, you know, nothing. The most expensive spice is the saffron king, also known as red gold. The flower, crocus, is what produces saffron, which in itself is a difficult process to cultivate. However, the saffron king comes from a special type of crocus flower only grown and only farmed in remote areas of the Middle East. While traditional saffron can be priced for up to $50 an ounce, authentic saffron king has sold for over $20,000 an ounce, which makes it the most expensive spice on the market. The spice, paprika, is just dried bell peppers. That's really it. Paprika is just dried bell peppers and bell peppers are basically a salad. So if you do a dry paprika steak rub, it's technically steak and a salad. I'm not a chef, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Wagyu beef is not the most expensive beef. There is a rare breed of Scottish Highland cows that can fetch upwards of $60,000 per cow, or almost double that of Wagyu beef. And for $60,000 per Scottish cow, no kilt is included. Per the USDA, in 2020, Americans ate nearly 9 billion hamburgers, which equates to about 28 hamburgers per American for the entire year of 2020. Which, honestly, for 2020, that number seems really low. Only 28? I, I hit that in February. 
Americans, there are multiple versions of the game known as football. Actually, between six or eight versions, depending on how you want to look at it. Of course, you have your American football, which is played with your hands and 11 players on the field. And this is the most popular sport in all of America. And there is such thing as the Canadian Football League, or CFL, which is similar to American football, or the NFL, but with some differences. For instance, it is played with 12 players instead of 11. The field goals are located in the front of the end zone. And some rules appear to have changed because Canada, what the heck is happening in this play? And of course there's rugby football, which is played with 15 players and is most common in Europe, Australia, and New Zealand. However, in Australia, they also have Australian rules football, which is the same thing as regular rugby with 15 players, except for it's played with 18 players to simulate more chaos. And there's also Gaelic football, which is much like rugby, played with 15 players on each team. However, in this version, players are able to dribble the ball like in basketball and shoot goals like in soccer. And there's beach rugby football, which is played with just five players on each team and usually on the beach and hopefully in sand. And of course, there's good old-fashioned 11 player soccer, also known as associated football throughout the rest of the world. And finally, there's an indoor sport called futsal, which is played much like soccer, but with five players on a small field in an air-conditioned room inside. So yeah, when you say football, there's like between six and eight different versions of football you could be talking about. Olympics, the most decorated athlete of all time is Michael Phelps, with over 28 medals won. But during training for the Olympics, the 6 foot 4, 194 pound human fish hybrid would need to consume over 12,000 calories a day just to maintain weight. That means each day while training, he was eating the equivalency of about 22 Big Macs. That's just a small price to pay for 28 Olympic medals won, 23 of which were gold. And about those gold medals. All three versions of the medals handed out to the players are composed of 92.5% silver. The gold medal does have some gold, but it's only the outside layer. Less than 2% of the medal is actually gold. Tin, copper, and zinc make up the remaining composition. Uh, quiz break! Approximately how many square feet is Buckingham Palace? A. 105,000 square feet. B. 828,000 square feet. C. 2 million square feet. Or D. 4.4 million square feet. A B for Buckingham Palace. 828,000 square feet. And surprisingly, of all the rooms Buckingham Palace has, it does not have a dungeon. Which type of football allows players to dribble the ball, like in basketball? Is it A, Australian rules football, B, beach rugby, C, Gaelic football, or D, futsal? Uh, C, Gaelic football. However, they must dribble once every four steps and they can only dribble on the ground once. After that first bounce, the next bounce must hit their feet first. And that's called a running bounce, which is also common in Australia rules football. But there, they don't let you dribble on the ground like they do with Gaelic football. Per the USDA, how many hamburgers did Americans eat in 2020? A, 228 million. B, 828 million. C, 2 billion. Or D, 9 billion. But D, 9 billion, or roughly 28 hamburgers per American for the entire year of 2020, which again, for America, seems really low. I'm John Paul. Thanks for sticking around. Before we get to extra facts, I thought I'd take this time to remind you that there is a like, comment, and subscribe button you can press. They're completely free. But again, I really appreciate you watching. And until next time, humanity out. Die.
give up control Hope falls from the sky as I lift up my hands And speaking reverence, speaking reverence Oh, without using any toilet paper. Whoa.